Hey guys, what's up? It's me. So the Genlock trailer, um, or I guess the first look sneak peek dropped um, a couple days ago. Uh, I haven't been able to get a chance to watch it, but I figured I'll watch it right now while I can. And so I saw a sneak peek of it at RTX that had David Tennant speaking in it and introduced some of the characters, but they've introduced a lot more voices since then. They've released some more characters since then. So I'm very excited. I don't know if I'm going to do reactions to this or not yet, just because I kind of like being able to like sit down and watch some kind of shows in my free time when so I'm having to like make a thing out of it and like go out of my way when I don't really have time. But um, I'm excited to see what this has in store. And just before it even starts, huge shout out to Sean Stevenson, who is the lead rigger for Genlock, and Will Shaburn, who is one of the lead animators, I believe, I think. I know he's an animator on it. I think he's one of the lead animators on it. And I know that Kim is the lead on it. So shout out to those guys because they're doing a good job and I'm hella excited for this shit and I still can't believe they got Michael fucking B. Jordan so <laughs> uh, I love Max god that early morning haze looks so nice Andrea was not kidding fuck me up her her you I love you I love you you you're perfect, and I love you, and all of your keychains are so important to me, and I want to cosplay that outfit. And God, Miss I love Rosh and Sombra. Edison? Miss Roma, Roma Nizzard, Roma, you tried. Uh, uh, Valentina. Uh, Specialist Sinclair, welcome to the Anvil. So good to finally meet you. That morning haze is so nice. I love her. That's a hell of a way to say hello. That's no yes. Way. You see what he does to you next. <laughs> I was joking. He wasn't. She has Caliban freckles. Stole your gear in the hangar. What? The hangar? Don't we get bunks? Not if you're not staying. <laughs> okay, everyone who can and came what's up with the mad scientist here, say I. Uh. Uh. Yes. Uh, I. Jesus Christ. I get ahead of myself. Apologies. On behalf of the ESU, thank you for all your time thus far testing for our program, but you're not done. Not quite the yet. robot reminds me of the walk cycles of like simulations where the they learn to walk. But there are some things we can only know if we deal she with has a robot other. dog on her shoulder. I, if it doesn't work out, you'll She's be on small. your way home on the next transport. Home, says he. <laughs> and we just got off the plane. Mind if we refresh first? Each minute we waste here is another minute before you meet your future. Go! Supposedly. Up, and I'll collect you shortly. God. Did he say shit up? He's like a kid on Christmas morning. Basically. Which makes us what? His new puppies? You're the new lab rats. Come on. It's cool. Boo. <laughs> Once you get to know her, she's... Nah, she's pretty much the same. I can't stop staring at the fucking blonde one. I love her. Yee! God, this is already so much more refined than it was at RTX. I'm shitting. Obligatory spider mech. Her! Who's that? I know that you're wondering. That's her, that's her, that's her, that's her, that's her. I love her. I love all of them, frankly. And this is gonna sound like. This is gonna sound really kinda. I feel like this is gonna sound really stupid. But. The amount of joy that I get over the fact that, like, the main six, like, the main six, like, mech pilots, I guess, the six who were on the poster, like, like, this is one of the first things I've seen in a really long time that is, like, one, this genre, and it's two, like, just from the characters that we've been introduced to so far, is actually 50% women, 50% men. Like, this is gonna sound so shitty. That doesn't happen in anything. Ever. Really. It basically never happens. And the fact that, like... Oh god, it's so well animated too. I love this. I love how it- I love, like, the animation style of it. It's real neat. And they all have such cool concept designs. I love their concept art so much. But, like, it's just really nice to see... like, an actual equal representation. Because, like, they've done a study, and it was, like, if you put a hundred guys, uh, like, a hundred people in a room, if there's more than, I think it was 17 women, they feel as if they're outnumbered by women. It was something crazy like that. It was either 17 or 37. I know I ended with a 7. 
but they feel as if there's more women in the room than men. And that's usually how the percentage goes in basically every bit of media that's out there. It's usually about 80% male and 20% female, give or take. So it's really nice to be able to see a show, especially like a mecca, something that is normally marketed towards teenage boys, to have 50% women. Like, that's just really refreshing. It's even more refreshing the fact that about half of them are people of color. Which, like, fucking thank you. <sighs> and, like, I still want to know how they got all the voices that they got for this goddamn show, because Jesus Christ. Like, I haven't heard of some of them before, but, like, they have fucking... They have Michael B. Jordan, they have David Tennant, they have Arya goddamn Stark. Like, how the fuck? <laughs> How the fuck? <laughs> Honestly, like, uh, Dakota Fanning, she's another one. Her character's really hot, and I love her, and she looks like she can kick my ass, and I want her to. Like, it's just really nice to see a show like this that is very, like, I don't, I'm just excited. Like, I'm genuinely excited to see a show that has such an interesting and diverse group of characters that actually has more, like, that actually has an equal percentage of representation. Like, I'm just on that alone, I'm excited. And then to have it also include giant badass fighting robots and have it be animated on top of that? Sign me the fuck up. Like, I'm so excited for this. And I cannot wait for this to come out. Like, honestly, I think it comes out the same day as Kingdom Hearts 3 does. I'm gonna watch this before I play Kingdom Hearts 3. Fuck that. Like... <laughs> This is something that doesn't happen that often, and I'm really excited for it. And it's really cool because I have been able to meet a lot of people who are responsible for making this show happen, and they've done such an amazing job setting it up. Like, the rigs are fantastic, the character designs are interesting and unique and distinctive. Modeling the mechas must have been hell, modeling basically all of this must have been hell, and then on top of that to have this amazing, like, hazy morning glow over all of it. Like, I can't even imagine the shit that the comp team has to go through with all the fucking heads-up displays and bullshit that mechs tend to have. And, like, all of these characters, with their outfits and their stances alone, you already get so much about their characters. And I'm just- I'm really excited for that. I'm really excited to see what they do with this whole new area, because this is different from Ruby. This isn't, like, this isn't an anime-style show. This is just fucking baller. And I'm really excited to see where this goes. And that's honestly, that's all I kind of really have to say about it. I'm just, I've been pumped about this since they talked about it at fucking RTX. Like they did the mega animation, RTX and mega animation panel, which they were joking should have been the mecha animation panel because it was basically all Genlock. And you know what? I'm fucking fine with that because this seems, this shit is bananas and I'm fucking excited. So yeah, <laughs> I don't really have anything else to say. I'm just really excited about this show. And it looks really fucking neat. And I, I don't know, just I hope it lives up to the hype that it's been and that it's kind of been instilling in me. But like, I'm just, I'm really excited to see how it goes from here. So on that note. <laughs>